Alright guys, today is my 60th round of chemotherapy. We finally made it to the big 60. So today I'm starting my 60th round of chemotherapy. Um, I won't show the full setting up process because, let's be honest, I've showed you that a thousand times. So we'll just show me in bed. Alright, um, it is my 60th round, as I said like three times. <laughs> and I'm on chemo all hooked up. And I want to thank you all so much for watching this week. And we hope you all have enjoyed this week. Bye bye. Place a nose clip over your nose or pinch your nose closed using your fingers. I don't like this thing. Well, you can use your fingers. Well, number one, I'll slowly forget that I'm pinching my nose. <laughs> when I swallow, no, it's so not, weird. No, do not breathe through the spectrometer. Yep, the spiggle oh, rump no. thing. Until directed to. While using the spectrometer, you need to breathe it through your mouth. Seal your lips naturally around the mouthpiece at the top of the window. Say collect. Huh? Say collect. Mm, not sure. Okay. Whenever I swallow, it makes my ears go weird. <laughs> my voice is. Yeah. Alright, at, at the top of the window of the graphical analysis, select collect. Collect with my mouse on this? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I sound weird. To start data collection. So I have my mouth on this? Yes. It's take natural breath beginning with an inhale inhalation and continue to breathe in and out. After four circles of natural inhalations and exhalations, fill your lungs as deeply as possible and excel as fully as possible. I'm so confused. Because it's at zero, and when I was tracking, it now shows nothing. I was breathing naturally, and now it just says nothing. Is it your ears popping? I, I don't know. Whenever I saw it, my mouth will constantly make a weird noise. So I'm trying to swallow as little as possible. It's so weird swallowing with a nose piece. <laughs> it is. Have you had this test or no? No. I haven't. <laughs> um, flow rate. I've had many breathing tests. You've had many breathing tests? I have asthma. Oh. And it used to be really it bad. used to be really bad. Mm. Okay, um it says sensor actions flow rate, but we put that thing on zero, right? Make sure it's uh on the table and you're holding it still. Alright. But how would I press collect? That's so weird. I think as far as I know, when I press collect mm -hmm. and I had my mouth on this thing. And whenever I would breathe in naturally, mm -hmm. it would just, I don't know, not chart anything. Do I say calibrate or what? Oh. <laughs> it clears your ears a little bit though. <clears throat> I mean, I still sound sort of normal and then you hear this. Mm -hmm. I can't even breathe <laughs> through this. This is the point. Oh yeah. Let's see. Like four That's natural full cycles, yeah. I'll check. And it stops after one second. So I don't know, does it supposed to be on a continuous? <laughs> Select stop. Huh. Well it's it for me. I think it stops after. What is the world? These things are not comfortable. Then take it off while you're doing it. Ow. Hold it on too long, you'll have an indent. <laughs> Whoa! 
Angela. Oh no. I don't know which part. And <laughs> just slouch. <laughs> this is the only time you're gonna hear somebody tell you to slouch. Directed to. While using the spontometer, you need to breathe. Using this with glasses is difficult. Oh yeah. You might. Know. <laughs> you make it where it don't move. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Okay, I think I might not move it too much. Okay. At the top of the window, so the window is like collapsed. <laughs> It's hard to read it. Yeah. And this thing, I have to do inhalation and exhalation four times naturally. Naturally. And then I exhale big and blow out as hard as I can, right? Yes. We'll see. Uh, yeah, um, this is a short little segment um, that you'll see after all the breathing stuff. Um, so, we got some pretty bad news. Um, we hadn't ever discussed it, but November 15th was supposed to be, be the blood donation. And as all of you know, last time I donated was May 9th. And that has, when it went fine, I got checked in, I got the little blood donated and I was fine um and that was a normal process for me and so I thought it was going to happen this time so originally on November 12th they had started giving out these you know the flowers and the uh consent sheet so I got that and I filled it out we waited for it to get signed and on November 15th I had gotten called I walked down the hallway for a few I'm not even gonna include that clip because it just cuts off randomly um, so we we went in, we go in and we hear Donnie and William who did successfully get their blood donated mm -hmm. um, we hear them talking about weight and they're talking about my weight and their weight and they say her last weigh-in was 98 pounds Oh my god, why would you say that? <laughs> I, because I had, I will admit, I had lied last time, but I was fine. I ended up being perfectly fine. People believed the fact that I was 110, and I didn't even have a real estimate of a weight. So I just put 110, and I, without even actually knowing that was a weight requirement. And so, because I thought it was 100. In my mind, I had remembered that it was 100 weight. And so we go in. And we, you know, we obviously hear William and Donnie discussing their weight. And then my weight comes up in their mouth. No, 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 no. Don't say it. Don't 98. Do you really think that someone being 10 pounds below one, like the 110, but I'm one to two pounds below the 100? I was like, oh my God. Like, no. I don't start going and saying my weight. Um, and so we had to be weighed on a scale. And obviously the scale saved William and Donnie by saying they were 113. But it didn't save us because we were still 100. The scale would have had to increase 12 to 11 pounds just to barely be the scraping of donation. Yeah, and don't look at you funny. They look at I know. Like, Fuck. And that is the issue. I don't like... Like, I, I'm fine about being thin. I'm okay about it. But I just don't Most like it. I just don't like it when I can never gain weight. Because God forbid I've been in 90 pounds since the ending of 8th grade. Like, it, come on. It's 12th. What? That's outrageous. And I was 2 pounds in. Mm -hmm. You're dragging on a bit. Mm-hmm. Like, no, I'm being so serious when I say that. I've been in the 90s for a dragging five years. <laughs> Ooh, don't you think that's a little dragging? Mm -hmm. Every single time I get close to gaining that bit, I'm two mm -hmm. pounds away. I gain four pounds. You're still not nine. What? I should have got out of those four pounds, only one added. N and May was half a year ago in this month. And so, 
every single time, I'm like, oh my god, yes, I'm finally only two pounds still. Mm -hmm. Two pounds away from 100. And then I go back to the doctor, from, you're 98. Huh? How did I lose all my pounds I earned? God forbid, I'm going to absorb all the pounds I gain, which I don't. Where do they go? I'm, I don't know if the ducks are measuring wrong. I don't know how horrible scales are because every single time I try to see that 100. We have like a medical like. Oh my god. I probably have trauma against scales. <laughs> no, it's annoying to me. I'm like. This is a random rant video now. I don't even care. I am annoyed because every freaking time I feel like I'm finally doing great and wait. Actually, you're underweight again. What the? What? I gained oh, five. For the base. Okay. Damn it. We're not even five. One. We hit five foot in nine. <laughs> That's a crime. Been four, four years and we only get meals. And believe it or not, we've been on a grass board. Damn. People don't know how. I, I, I'm I not going to go ahead and say that. People do know how annoying it is not to gain weight. And I am gaining weight. I have to preface to people. But to me, it doesn't feel like at all. The numbers don't grow. They grow one pound, they go back another pound the day I go back to my endocrinologist. Yeah, you're only 91. Huh? Hmm? Huh? So you talk about since freshman when I weighed 91 to 92 and I'm only 98. I'm a senior. In the big, in the end of eighth grade, I was 92. Damn! But uh, I just don't like the fact that we physically doesn't seem like we gain weight. We hear the numbers. Why aren't they adding? Brother, I felt like I've been stuck at the 97 to 98 range for two years. The important thing is, we couldn't donate. The other thing is, we went gone on a rant because this is annoying to me, and I don't like it because I don't know what my hypothyroidism does to me. I don't know if it's because of hypothyroidism. I don't know if it's because of my premature. I don't know what it is. We couldn't donate, everybody. That's sorry for this long rant. We just couldn't donate. We'll probably cut half of this rant out. <laughs> um, but we just wanted to say we could not donate. We don't. We do plan on donating hopefully again in May um, if that ever works out and we just want to thank you all for watching this large rant. Again, half of it might be cut out or something like that um, to dust this bit because, you know, sometimes it is annoying and we do have to vent about these feelings. So, the big major thing, we could not donate. We tried to donate. We couldn't because of our weight. We got on the scale. It said only 100 and obviously I need 11 more pounds just to barely be at the bystanding thing to donate um so inadequately to maybe be the only a shy three pounds above donating i might need to gain 14 pounds so yeah see yeah. you 14 pounds later bye <laughs> guys i just got a, a immersive art this is the first card <gasps> oh my god Damn. i wasn't expecting you to be the first card though let's go the actual fuck all right, cool. Literally, the he's in the bathroom. Okay. Bye.